listen, if you're hearing from pundits that market breadth is weak, that is just not the case. And in fact, markets are setting the stage for all time highs. Hey, this is Luke Downey with Map Signals Research. Follow the big money and let me show you why there is still a bullish undertone for markets. The first thing you want to do is know what is the overall trend of the market. How do you do that? You look at the big money index. It is plotting out the number of stocks getting bought relative to those getting sold. Whenever we start to see this line going up like we are right now, it is telling you money is being put to work. But more importantly, we are only 9% away from all time highs on the S&P 500. That doesn't happen when breath is weak. You've got to focus on the real narrative. You can see here, some people are worried that the latest rally is going to fail similar to August of 22. If you remember back in August, everything got overheated people were saying oh the markets are gonna fall they actually did they're saying the same tunes right now but why is map signal so constructive on the markets it's because the breath is very strong and incredibly constructive let's look at it together so before we look at the sector leadership today let's rewind the tape go back to august what was leading back then utilities energy industrial staples healthcare you know what that is that's defensive leadership that is not what you want to see that's not the breath that you want in a big booming bull market look at today we can see that the rally is very offensive you can see money's being put in technology it's being put in discretionary and also industrials which has a lot of names that have strong growth profiles so it's a completely different makeup in 2023 than 2022. so what really drove home for us in 2023 that this rally was different well two of the most hated sectors last year semiconductors and home builders were starting to see massive inflows as early as december of last year so these green bars are telling you that money is being put to work in semiconductors and why was it so notable well you can see in smh a lot of outflows that happened literally for the whole year then you come in one day and you start to see whoa money's being put to work semiconductors People are talking about those like the AI rally just started. Folks, it has been in play since late last year, but you wouldn't know that if you weren't using data. Let's now look at home builders. I just saw a report yesterday that said home builders are proving that the rally has more breath. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking about home builder buying literally since late last year this is not a new theme okay and that's why it's so important that you focus on the data because that is the narrative it isn't the headline so whenever you hear that breath is weak it is absolutely incorrect you got to know what's important to look at so what is the bottom line follow the big money don't be worrying about breath this, breath that. You need to be focused on the highest quality stocks that are under accumulation and map signals is a great way to do that. Remember, none of this is personalized advice. Leave me a comment. What AI stocks, what semiconductors, what home builder stocks are you guys interested? I'll see you next time.